Welcome to My Vaccine is Jesus. Today's discussion is in the Vax Shorts playlist and is entitled Episode 16. Let us begin the discussion. All right, today's video is a response to this video from Stand on Scripture, Unitarian Messianic Son of God, debater and speaker for the cause of the kingdom. It's entitled, as you see from the vault, Jesus inherits a better name, greater than that of the angels. How, if he is already God? It's a six minute, 39 second video. And to be fair, to stand on scripture, check it out for yourself and uh, see his points. All right, it's referring to Hebrews chapter one, verses one through four. Let's read it. God, who at sundry times in a diverse manner spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. So stand on scripture's points are, verse two, the son was appointed heir. Verse four, he obtained something by inheritance. And stand on scripture's point is that how can he be God? God can't be an heir. God can't get something by inheritance. Notice how he forgets to look at these points by whom also he made the worlds, because again, this is a Unitarian who thinks Lord Jesus Christ uh, is a man who uh, the thoughts of God were implanted in them and the words of God and actions of God came out of his mouth. So he was a man, a special man used by God. Notice what verse two says, um, the, by the son were the worlds made. He's the creator of everything. Notice the son upholds all things by the word of his power, meaning the son keeps all the molecules of the universe holding together. And by the, the son by himself purged our sins. By himself, he did it. And, you know, there's many um, instances in the Old Testament when, when only God through, the, through his arm could do it. No man could do it. But let's forget about all these things and focus on the inheritance concept. So remember, according to Stand on Scripture, Jesus can't be God because he has an inheritance. Here's the problem with that. <clears throat> Exodus fifteen seventeen. Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, Lord, which thy hands have established. Uh oh, the Lord God has an inheritance. He can't be God, according to standard scripture. Exodus thirty four nine. And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among thee, for it is a stiff necked people, and pardon our naked our sin, and take us for thine inheritance. Again, the Lord God has an inheritance. According to standard scripture, he can't be God. Continuing. Deuteronomy 9.26, I prayed therefore unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Deuteronomy 32.9, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the place of his inheritance. First Samuel 10.1, then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, is it not because the Lord hath anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Psalm 78, 71. From fallen the youths great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. And again, the, his is the Lord. Psalm 106, 40. Therefore is the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. Zechariah 2, 12. And the Lord shall inherit Judah, his portion, in the Holy Land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. So, stand of scripture yet again doesn't know what he's talking about. And then look at, well, you know, if you're going to read something, read a few more verses later. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten of the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. So Lord God the Father is telling all the angels to worship Lord Jesus. Obviously, worship is only due to God. Lord Jesus is God. Hebrews 1.8, but unto the Son he saith, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Scepter of righteousness is the scepter of the kingdom. So the Father calls the Son God. If the Father calls the Son God, I'm going to call him God too. How about that? So yet again, stand on scripture is a clown and tramples on scripture. Amen.